paradoxes. Grandfather paradox, auto infanticide, or infanticide, and lying about lying. Are these paradoxes, or are these not? And is the paradox even possible? Well, first of all, let's answer the second question. Is the paradox even possible? Yes. But you have to be very, very, very specific. Very specific. Otherwise, it's, it, it, it can always be disproved. It can always be disproved, unless you're very, very um, specific. And I'm going to explain that right now. So, auto-infanticide. No, actually, you know what? Grandfather paradox. Now, according to Wikipedia, the grandfather paradox is that a time traveler went back in time to the time when his or her grandfather had not married yet. At that time, at, at the time, at that time, the time traveler kills his or her grandfather, and therefore. The time traveler is never born when he or she is meant to be. When he or she was meant to be. That's 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 pretty specific. That they should be glad that they included that. When he or she was meant to be. Not true. This is not true. Because, what if he went back? No, hold on. Let me open up again to explain this better. Explain this better with some drawings. Um, maybe I should have opened it earlier. Anyways, file, you know, make a. Excuse me, man. Okay, so what if he goes back in time to the year 19. Yeah, I'm a bad. 1988. Okay, sorry about that bad drawing. I guess I'm not good with doing that. To the year 1980. Okay. I'll grab the mouse. Hold on, hopefully this is better. He goes back to the year 1988. Okay? And he was born in 1989. He goes back in time to December. And he was born in January. January. Okay. Now, in this case, if he was born in nineteen nine, if he was born in uh nineteen eighty nine, that means that in nineteen eighty nine, if he was born in January of nineteen eighty nine, that means that in average conditions. Nine months before January 1989 is not nine, uh, December 1988. So, and now his grandfather doesn't necessarily have to be married. He, so what if he's not married? Maybe he never got married. He's still his grandfather. And this means that he's still going to be born, even though he killed his grandfather before he was born. And he's still going to be born at the exact same time. At the exact same time. No difference should be made if you're st studying this in average conditions. So, the grandfather paradox is disproven right here right now. Now, auto-infanticide. This one we're going to go a bit deeper. <sighs> Let's find out what this says. Going back in time and killing oneself as a baby. 
let's go to the definition of kill. Now, just boil the effect of, like, say, Aw oh, man, you just killed it. You just killed it, so somebody tells a joke and you just say something else and you kill the joke. You, you didn't necessarily, you didn't really, his extra brushwork killed the painting. Spoiled it. You didn't really necessarily, like, kill it. Kill. It didn't really destroy it. It didn't really cause the death of it. It just spoiled the effect of. Definition 4. See, it has to be very, very specific, like I said. You can't just use the word kill. You have to say to destroy. Or, no, there's a different definition than destroy. Take a knife and cut off his head. That is kill. That, that, that. I mean, in that case, don't you know about Mike the Headless Chicken? People, I mean, chickens can live without a head. Can't. Maybe people can too. So, cut out his heart and just cut out his heart there. In that case, yes. That could not be disproven. Or maybe it could, but not normally. But what about the definition of cut? What about heart? You know, you know, you can go heart more deeper and deeper. So, I could spoil, he could spoil the effect of it. Um, the baby, he could make it stupid. He could take the baby and throw it on the ground, and that would make him, that would make the baby possibly, um, have, ha, uh, ha, get a problem in their head, and possibly spoil the baby. So he could, in the future, be a doctor, and then he spoiled that, so he's no longer a doctor. He would still be alive, but he would no longer be a doctor. So he did indeed kill, but it's not a paradox because it doesn't contradict itself. Lying about lying. In this case, I mean specifically the sentence. If a person says that they always lie, are they lying? Are they lying or telling the truth? Now, let's go into the definition of always. Now you have to be very specific because according to dictionaries, always is an adverb, and in an adverb, it modifies any um, adjective um, or any verb or other adverb, adverbial phrase. I think that's what it says here. Any verb, adverbial phrase. Where it is? Adjectives, adverbs, adverbial phrase, and verbs are here. In Latin and English adjectives. Okay, so if somebody's not a native English speaker, they don't necessarily. Okay, hold on, let me go over this. In any event, at any time, if necessary. Also, let me reprove this via Merriam-Webster. Merriam-Webster. Always. In the event of at in the event in any event, you can always try. Again. There is a can or may in that sentence, but according to the dictionaries, adverb do not need can or may. So if somebody's not a native English speaker, they can judge that sentence as could, like it's possible. They can lie. They could judge that sentence based on the dictionaries, based on the specific, the specific definition. So. This proven. Also, let me just add my name here. Disproven. All three paradoxes that I was going to talk about have been disproven. And actually, in the third one, me and you, well, I'm not sure about you, but I am a native English speaker, so I know that the sentence that I talked about here, this, the sentence that I talked about, um, the example that I gave, does not need a can. We, we know that it's not going to be can. We know that we're implying one of these definitions. But the non-English speaker may not know that we are implying that definition. And he could indeed, he or she could indeed think that we are implying this definition. So, paradoxes. Are they possible? Yes. But you have to be very specific. Let me give you an example of what I would think is a paradox. If somebody says that, if 
about any exception. They make false statements in every thing they say. Are they being are they telling the truth or making a false statement? That there is a paradox. Somebody says, says, see, specifically says, and say, specifically. If somebody says that without any exception, they make false statements in everything they say. They say, are they telling the truth? Are they telling the truth or making a false statement? I didn't say lying because lying could be like laying down. You never know. See? False statement. That right there is a paradox. Anyway, thank you for watching. And you know, Paradoxes, you never really know. You never really know.